Hello, I'm Christine McLeod. I'm a weaver at Weaver's Cottage in Kilbarkin, a National Trust for Scotland property. In this film, I'd like to tell you how to set up this traditional loom. This loom is over 200 years old and every aspect of the setup of this loom is the way that the weavers would have worked in the past. What you see here are the threads that run up and down the way. This is the back of the loom or the back beam of the loom and you'll see that the threads are spread out along here. Now there are 880 threads from here to here so that gives you some indication of how fine it is and each of the individual threads have been made up on the warping board and the previous film showed the, how to make up the threads on the warping board. With reference to the warping board, you'll notice here that there are two sticks. Now when I was making up the threads, I was making a figure of eight and you can see closely, if I open it out, you can see that there is a figure of eight where threads go under and over and over and under. Can you see that? And that's the most important piece in the loom at the moment is the figure of eight. And the function of that is so that with these two sticks put in either side of the figure of eight, it means that I can pick out the threads in exactly the order that I put them on. For instance, we've got eight threads of brown, four threads of red, eight threads of brown, and so on. And each thread is in order. So these two sticks at the setup stage are the most important parts of the loom. I'm going to explain the path of the warp threads through the loom. We'll begin from the back of the loom, where all the threads are spread out across the back beam. We then travel under and over these two sticks. The threads are then passed through these four shafts, each containing hundreds of heddles. They're just like the eye of a needle. And each thread is passed through in a particular order. I'm now sitting at the front of the loom and you can see these are the four shafts with the threads coming through the heddles. The threads then pass through the reed which is encased in the beater and each of these threads pass through a space in the reed and that's one of the most important parts of the, the loom and what that is you're spreading out the threads to the exact width that you want. Threads are then taken from the reed and pulled right through and tied on to the front beam. The final stage is to tie up the foot pedals to the lambs which are in the middle of the loom and the lambs to the shafts at the top. And that means that when I put my foot down on a foot pedal, it's raising up two shafts and it's making a space for the shuttle to go through. Each foot pedal is tied to different shafts and each foot pedal is pressed in a particular sequence just depending on the pattern you want. And eventually, when it's all set up, it will be really smooth running. Quite a bit of time can be spent in adjusting the loom to make sure that you're able to work smoothly and efficiently. And that's how to set up a traditional loom.